And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian. Welcome back to Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game. All right. So today we're going to work on a new car line. Yay, new car line. Okay. Uh, so let's go new car. So this is going to be an economy car. All right. So we're going to say the year is 1991. And we're going to call this thing... Uh, what do we want to call it? What do we want to call it? We'll call it the Vine. Okay. So it's going to be an economy car, all right? And we're going to put it into a coupe body. And we're going to say last 10 years. And, uh... Hmm. Actually, let's do a hatchback body. How about that? We're going to go nice and small. Yeah, we're going to go with this guy. All right, all right. So this is going to be economy line. So let's but let's put the quality up just a little bit. Monocoque, corrosion resistant. Let's go front transverse. Hmm. Hum. Hum. This is interesting. Okay, so if we go front transverse, <clears throat> low sport is low drivability, right? Well, let's go with that. All right, let's go with a McPherson. And then we'll go with a... Let's see. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we're actually going to change up a little bit. Um, let's go with a... Let's see. Polymer. Okay, so car design. You know the part that I'm the worst at? <laughs> Let's try these with the headlights. There we go. Doesn't look bad. And those have indicators built in, so we can keep the front of this fairly clean. Tail lights. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go with those. And then indicators for safety. Actually, this is the baseline. So you know what? We'll go grills. And then swings, handles. Bonnet. Exhaust. Okay, you know what? That, this will be fine for the baseline very variant. Let's go back into stretching mode here. One more space there. Extend the nose out just a little bit. Wow. That would look silly. Look at this. Uh, Bill? Are you sure about this design? 
This looks a little weird. There we go. That looks pretty decent, right? Good. All right. We'll go to this. We'll go forward. We'll make it a nice dark green for eco. Transverse. Get a transverse four-wheel drive. And uh, for this model, we'll call this one the Eco. All right. And what we'll do is we'll put a grill on it. It looks like it's smiling. And then for handles, we'll do that. Oh, we still need some badges too. And we'll just drop the badge right on the back. And for the exhaust, we'll go with something like that. Okay, good. Let's start looking at the engine, shall we? Now, I think we're going to go with an inline four aluminum, right? We'll do DOHC. Five valve, aluminum. Do we still have VVR PVJ? I thought that introduced. Hold on. Oh right, hold on. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to redo it with VVL next time. Okay, so aluminum, 404, DOHC, four valves. Good. So it's going to be an 87 by 87. So this will be the D411, right? D four one one. All right, cast with I beam. Low friction cast. How about that? We'll keep that the same. We'll bump this up a little bit. Naturally aspirate it. Injection, single point EFI. Regular leaded, please. And we're going to go with... Uh, Let's try it out with short cast for right now. Go with the three way. Uh, reverse flow. Or straight through. Right, let's see where it starts, see how she runs. Let's see how that worked out. Yep, we're knocking. Alright, I figured. Alright, 
Let's get ourselves our sword knocking, huh? Alright, so that gets that down. We're still at 92.5, so we either reduce our compression. Is my economy going up? Oh yeah, because I'm decreasing knock. So then let's come back here. All right, piston heads. So that brings me up a bit more. And that, using Lightweight Forge, also lets me bring up my RPMs. There we go. Now let's me bring my fuel mixture back down. Okay, so there we go. That looks pretty good. Look at this performance index. So we're going to push about 150 horsepower to this baby. All right. She rose pretty high. Um, I think we're getting some restriction through here. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Okay. So we have a nice... Decent power curve there. Not the worst in the world, I guess. Um, she's going to be a little sluggish off the start, I think. I'd like to be able to bring this back down again. Let's see what if I do this. So I'm at 657, right? Try to reduce that a little bit. Get that camp profile back down. I'm not sure how to do that. Well, if I boost my fuel mixture a little bit, right? You want to get this balanced. Let's see. Well, I think that's going to be about the best I'm going to get it. Um, yeah, so this is my 2 liter. 2 liter, 0. The 2L0, right? Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Alright, let's, let's take a look at the trim again. Um, uh, hmm. Wait, this thing can get up to 132 miles an hour. Are you insane? Alright, let's see. That's the best option there. Alright. Long life roads, as always. 
That was gonna be medium compounds. There we go, we're at 215's front and back. Alright. Let's go with these. How about that? What are these? Yeah, those look good. Alright, brakes. We can't suck brakes yet. No. Oh boy. Um, solid. Two piston fronts. There we go. We'll go solid, one piston rear. None. Let's get that brake brake air flow up. Requires seventy four cooling. Four seat, standard, standard, power steering, anti-lock brakes, advanced 90s however, suspension, weight is 29 and 291. Let's take a look. Passive, and we'll go for our normal. Drivability is already high. Understeer, we're having issues with. I have to fix that. Uh, brake fade. Oh, my good old friend, brake fade. Wheel spin, suspension, driver height. Okay, so let's go with brake fade first. Yeah, I figured that would be an issue. Okay. Yeah. I figured that was going to be an issue. So let's go to one pistons. Mm -hmm. There's no point in going to multi-piston brakes if you're going to have to increase the... Uh... You can have to increase the size of your brakes anyways. There's really no pist reason going into uh, multi-piston brakes. But just because it doesn't... Doesn't matter, really. We'll have to race up the front brakes here. There we go. We're now at zero on the brake fade. Good. Alright, let's get that it's done. Okay, drivability is up nicely. Uh, they don't really like the brake pad type, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we're having some issues with bottom out. Okay, well, understeer, oversteer first. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, so they like that. <clears throat> Bottom out is still an issue. Okay. Brake pad type can't really fix that. Wheel spin, driver height, wheel spin. Just look at wheel spin.
There, wheel spin is now solved. Now let's see, uh, wheel load, okay. I don't know what that even means. Suspension options, they don't like that. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't really matter. Okay, safety looks pretty good. Um, panel material, they're not a huge fan of. Safety options, they like. Safety quality, meh. Footprint, meh. Prestige, yeah, okay. Interior, wheels, yeah. Engine, yeah. Top speed, yeah. Comfort, uh, brake pad type, chassis stiffness, gearbox. They don't like the torque curve, they don't like the smoothness. They don't like the entertainment quality or the passenger space or the cabin noise. I don't much care about that. Um, yeah, they don't like everything about this car. This is not a sporty car, let's put it that way. There's bad downforce, there's no suspension. They like the dynamic response, but everything else they are not too thrilled with. However, this is a very drivable car, right? Practicality of 60.22 using standard fuel. Um, material cost, we kept that low. Reliability is 67. Environmental resistance is 88. I like that. Utility is decent. We're getting 24.3 miles per gallon, which I don't think is bad for this year. I think that's pretty good for 1991, at least. So it's safe. <clears throat> it's reliable. It's a decent unit. Total cost of $8,000 in 1991. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that one single bit. So we managed to make a, uh, a nice little personal car here. Um, you know, maybe like a, your first college car sort of a vehicle. You know, you're going off to college for the first time, you know. Kind of like uh, the Scion. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's our version of the Scion, all right? The Vine Eco is our version of the Scion. It's cheap and it works. Um, yeah. It's kind of cute, though. You know, kind of cute. All right, so next time what we're going to do is we're going to build a sports version of this. Yeah, it'll be fun. So it'll be like the Civics that have the turbochargers in them, and they just go flying off the highway because they don't have enough weight to hold themselves in the darn road. All right, guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.